Please welcome Jenna Malone, everybody. Jenna Malone. and fresh, aren't oh, you? Oh, well, I guess a little bit, maybe. I mean, it's yeah. still early, you know. <laughs> it's, it's very late. I don't know what you're talking about. Look how dark it is outside. I know, but some people rise at different hours, right? Really? Are you a nighttime person? I am somewhat, somewhat. So if, if you were an animal, you wouldn't be a mongoose, for example. You would be more of a... a more of a rat. A rat, yeah. 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 Do, you, actually... do you like rodents? I do. I mean, I'm not... It's sort of in a peripheral sense, you know. I mean, I don't really love them, but... A uh, you like you like rodents, but only if you can only just see them... They, they do their thing, and they work out well, you know, by eating all the little things that need to be eaten. Bugs? Yeah, in your house. <laughs> I would never keep... <laughs> I would never keep a rodent in my house to eat bugs. <laughs> do they eat... I don't know if they eat bugs. I think they eat lettuce and stuff like that, don't yeah, they? Yeah, crumbs rodents? and stuff. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. I think uh, lizards eat bugs. Lizards do eat bugs and also toads. Do you know what? You know what I used to have when I had an apartment in New York. I there was cockroaches in the apartment, mm -hmm. and so I bought a gecko. You know that it's not the same one that does the car insurance commercials, but, <laughs> but that kind of thing. It'd be rather expensive. I got a gecko and I let it loose in the apartment to eat all the roaches mm -hmm. in New York. And I it, at night I couldn't hear any of the roaches scurrying. I woke up in the morning and written on the wall, there was no gecko, written on the wall, in roach, uh, in roach writing, in gecko blood, nice try. They weren't buying it. <laughs> you ever lived in New York? Uh, I went to high school in New York. Really? Whereabouts? Uh, professional children's school. Really? Um, it's like Were you a professional child? I was, it was great. <laughs> only for a year. What does that mean, a professional children's school? It's so school? strange. I don't know, I, I like the initials better, just PCS, but it's less questions, you know. But right. I don't know, a professional child, people who have, uh, you know, uh, whether you're a tennis player or an athlete or a uh, ballet, you, you Yeah, well, kids dance. can do that without going to a special school for it. <laughs> I know. Well, it doesn't really teach any drama or arts. It's mostly just a pure academic school that has a syllabus. I mean, it's really right. extremely right. interesting. It sounds like <laughs> A regular school for me. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, you? Are in one of my favorite movies of all time, Saved. I oh, love Saved. that movie. Yeah, yes, it's yeah. fantastic. Very nice film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I like that movie very much. Now, did you have a, what age were you? You must have been terribly young when you did that film. Not terribly so. What's yeah. terribly young? Oh, you're terribly young now, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> Not terribly as in, oh, it's terrible how young you are. I don't mean that. I mean, but you no, must I'm be very... No, I'm 22. I must have been 18 when I did that film. Oh, right. Well, there you are then. That's, uh, I was out, you know, working cleaning chimneys by that time. Oh, <laughs> Did you have a special broomsticks that... Well, you, you need a special broom... I went to special broom uh, chimney sweep school in Manhattan. <laughs> is there a difference between a, tr a chimney sweep and a broomstick? I yes, think it's yes, there it, is. It, it's yeah, like yeah. it can be quite elongated, because it has no, to go no, all no, the way no, down. No, 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 let me, uh, let me explain. Okay. <laughs> well, here's, here's the thing. A broom is like your Harry Potter broom. Like right. This. this is like a Harry Potter broom there, right? <laughs> your chimney sweep thing has got this kind of thing on it mm -hmm. here, like that. I That's see. more your chimney it's sweep. It's more circular. Yeah, it's like that. push it through. And that part goes in the chimney. Have you ever seen the movie Mary Poppins of starring course. Dick? Well, Dick Van Dyke, you'll find, plays a chimney sweep in that movie very well. Uh, every... Very convincing. Yeah, no, he's very good at it. He, he plays a cockney, much like Madonna. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Do you mind if we take a break and then we'll come back and chat to you Indeed. some more? Can you hang around a little bit? Of course. All right, we'll do that. We'll do a day break. We'll be right back with Jenna Malone. The lovely Jenna Malone. Uh, you're a lovely actress, and I really Thank enjoy you. your work. Now, but do you ever do anything else other than the acting? A lot of the actresses, when they come here, they just they, they just act and don't eat. Is that you? Or do you? <laughs> You'd get pretty dizzy, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I, I, I've been acting for a very long time, almost right. 12 years, right. and right so, since the professional. Yeah, but school. it's it's like a very. I think it's an ancient art of like storytelling, you know. So you can't right. help but get involved in other aspects of storytelling, like you know, taking photos or you know, like making music or. You do know. you take Do you take photographs? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's nice to be able to explore different venues of it, you know. I mean, whether it's just for yourself or for your little sister. Or... Do you take photographs for your little sister? Um, I've taken photographs. 
photographs of my little sister. Is that is that what you do? You take photographs of your, of your family? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. I've, I've actually put her in some very strange things. I did this, uh, she had to dress in all of these like costumes of a child's imagination and I, I put Vaseline around the lens so it kind of looked a little strange. They do that with me here. <laughs> It's very clean. It's very nice. <laughs> yeah, no, you put Vaseline on the lens to make it all soft Blown and weird. Blown out looking. and strange. Did you and ruin your camera? Or <laughs> you put Vaseline on the no, lens? No, no, you just get like a little cheap UV filter and it's okay. All right. But I made her lie on the grass and she got very irritated. So you take photographs of you and you, you take photographs and do you make music to it? Do you do that? I do, yeah. What do I've you been do? Sort do you play the recorder? A lot of the kids love the recorder. Really? Who yeah. loves the recorder? The children in school, everybody loves the recorder. I do think it's because it's what's taught. Actually, I think when I was in second grade, they tried to make me learn the recorder, and I was not that into it. You couldn't it. live by the rules. No. So what do you? So what do you? I don't play? know. I'm learning. I'm learning a lot of different instruments, like um, guitar and keyboards and accordion. Oh, and I like an accordion. Yeah. but it can nip you if you're not careful. Does it happen? Does it happen to yes, you? yes. You've got to watch your weight when you play the accordion because. If, like, I'm, I'm a little bit portly, and if I try and enjoy... Like, Drew Carey, my friend Drew Carey, plays the accordion. Mm -hmm. I tried playing it, and it pinched me. Oh, no. I don't know how Drew gets away with that. Oh, you, I mean, you must have some maybe kind of... Maybe it's just practice, you yeah, know? Or maybe the pinching guard. helps when you're singing, you know? Maybe you maybe, start yodeling or yeah, something. No! <laughs> that's probably why yodeling and polka go together so well. Maybe that's like some sort of stranger singing Yes, masochism. I think we've solved a problem. So you're wow. learning the accordion yeah. and the guitar. Mm -hmm. Would you like to be in a pop group like a lot of other actors? Uh, no, I, I just kind of want to make music on my computer and learn it myself until right. it's ready, you know? Yeah, yeah, all the kids do the computer. Do you go on the internet? Uh, I do. I mean, it's strange. I live in Lake Tahoe, so I'm a little cut off and I don't have a television, so uh, most of the news I receive is through the internet. Yeah, well, I think everybody's like that now, except connection. for the CBS broadcast, right. of course. <laughs> what about... They do uh, telegrams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> telegrams, Lake Tahoe. Uh, they sent a big bunny to tell me about yeah. it. It's really exciting. <laughs> I... Um, I love Lake Tahoe. Do you go out and do the skiing and the... Um... I'm a big dork. I don't ski or snowboard. I do, like, sledding in my backyard. I do yeah. some snowboarding in my backyard. Like, I have this, like, four-second run, and, and I put a helmet on and knee pads and ar elbow pads, and I just, like, sort of go at it really hardcore, and then, yeah, yeah. And then just be a very for, big... like, six hours. And it's Is it a big, very, very big yard? Uh, not really, no. It's on a cul-de-sac, so I sort of sled into other people's yards sometimes. Well, you gotta, you gotta watch with that. That's, you know, that's know. breaking the law. Right. You know... Uh... <laughs> Usually Not nice like Singapore it. breaking the law, but it's, it's breaking the law. Step below. Yeah, it's, like, it's well, it depends you on your start point of there view. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So you live in Lake Town. Now that's interesting. I had you. I thought you would be out here living in the LA thing with the clubs and the you know all these girls that don't wear underwear and stuff like that. You don't do any of that. Uh, what? Not wear underwear? <laughs> no, I forget. I asked that, but I mean. I mean, no, you know, I mean, you know what I mean. The, the, it's nice. I mean, I have to spend so much of my life, or have spent so much of my life, in Los Angeles that it's nice to have a little cave somewhere that has nothing to do you with. You live in a cave. <laughs> it feels like a cave sometimes. That is so great. <laughs> I love the idea. Yeah. That you live in a cave, it's and you. It's cool in the summer. Your little, your little sister live in the cave. <laughs> no, she lives in a real house. Right. She can okay. Come and visit. She comes and visits you in your cave. You gotta be careful because <laughs> bears like to come. I know. Yeah. I know. You ever seen a bear? There was a bear that uh, the first winter I lived in my house, I have a sliding glass door in my bedroom and it literally came right up to the sliding glass door and was picking berries off this tree. And I was like less than a foot away from it. What did you do? I just stared at it and I got really scared and the outside light came on so it was a glare against the window. He couldn't see me and I, I came up really close and then he moved and I freaked out and I went and opened the door, made some noise and he, he went away. He went away? Did he give you that look, that look that bears give? It, it, there was a look but... <laughs> That's really nice. You've oh, studied really? bears. Right. You like that? <laughs> that's like the bear after he's gone through your trash. Yeah, you know? it's that's like, right. And, and, your and, and in many ways, that is the look I'm trying to get you achieve. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna, listen, we're completely out of time. You're adorable. Come back and see us anytime Indeed. you like, will you? Jenna Malone, everybody. We're right back. Please welcome the absolutely adorable Jenna Malone, everybody. I that feel like you should have been in Australia with us. Australia? Is that where you shot the movie? We were, we were well, there's always Australia. that kind of thing lying around in Australia. You've got to be careful. <laughs> very it, careful. It indeed. looks very bright. You know, most, of the, uh, most poisonous and dangerous and deadly animals live in Australia. I know. 
Russell Crowe? Russell Crowe is in Australia? <laughs> the red back spider. Yes. Th that, that's the one that lives in the toilet seat, and when you go to the bath, this is true. Don't you laugh at this, oh, young lady. <laughs> This is, uh, uh, you go to the toilet if you sit down, if you're one of the people that like to sit down when you go to the toilet. I, I'm European, I always sit. The, uh, the red like bikes... hover, you know? Hover? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever hovered? Have you tried that? I've before? hovered, yeah, yeah. I... <laughs> oh, you know, when you're not in the nicest of places, like oh, some yeah. places oh, yeah. in Australia. I mean, yeah, no, that's insane. true. I have done that, the kind of, you know, safety stance. Definitely. <laughs> Maybe that's what Larry Craig was doing in that... Uh, <laughs> You never thought of that, did you, Larry? Too late now. <laughs> I, uh, can I just say, by the way, how much I like your boots and socks? Oh, thank you. I, I kind of tore them, so I had to tape it up, but... Do you know, you are a movie star. You've got to kind of uh, do a little... Bit. Well, actually, it looks gorgeous. <laughs> it's adorable. Look, no, did you have a nice time in Australia? I very much liked it down there. I did. I mean, you know, it wasn't really like a feel-good film in the sense of, you know, the working environment, but... Right. Um, it was, was everyone a jackass on it? Like the director was pushing you around? Other no, actors no. being kind of, oh, where's my, you know, things? <laughs> where's my things? <laughs> yeah. Give Work me my with things. Me. Where's my things? things? I'm an actor. Bring over some things over here. I'll need a, a fork and a wheel. Bring them right over right now. No, it was an incredibly supportive cast and crew, and the yeah, director blah, blah, was amazing. Show business. All right, you know, get the, the things, the things. Let's yeah, get yeah. them out of the way. Um, but it was actually really an extreme environment, just because, you know, we were shooting in Australia's winter, and right. it was supposed to be sort of Mexico, hot summer, so we were wearing very little clothes, always being, you know, oiled down and, and yes, wetted down, and it's like yes, freezing. Yes. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Say it slower. Maybe just slap me once or twice while you do it. I was going to do it. Right. Um, but it was kind of extreme, so I didn't really get to enjoy the beautiful Australian, like, beach scene that I really saw happening around me. It was always like, a, I'd come home from work, you know, completely, you know, bruised and scarred and muddy and just dirty. And, like, you know, I'd come home and it's like, the ocean's right there and there's, like, surfers going out and they're all, like, clean and full of life. And I just wanted to really, like, you know, have a glass of wine and die in my bed. Really? <laughs> Well, yeah. because you were bruised, you should have got out with the surf. You went out with the surfers. I actually, I was learning to surf the whole time I was there. Really? Did you, uh, now, uh, did you enjoy it? Because I've done a little bit of surfing. I think it's, if you enjoy really tangible fear, you know, like shoved in your mouth constantly, it's really exciting, you know? <laughs> but I'm... <laughs> I'm, I'm not... afraid for legal reasons I can't participate at this point. You can taste. I mean, the ocean is so unpredictable, you know? Yes, like, I know. You should have been here on Tuesday night. Jean-Michel Cousteau was here. <laughs> he was talking about that. <laughs> he was talking about sharks. Did you ever see a shark in Australia? Uh, I didn't. They have a lot of them there, I you know. I know, I've heard. And there was always warnings. So, it's like, they, right. they put up, uh, like, a red flag on the beach if someone had seen a shark. And that's when you knew you couldn't well, go Well, how out. do you know if they've really seen a shark? A lot of these people are alcoholics. They just say they've seen sharks. <laughs> Oh, mine, I saw a shark! You know. But that's in the bar, maybe not right. at the, like, the lighthouse. Hey, now tell me, what is the film about? The film is about these Americans who are going on a very easy, sort of uh, beautiful vacation. They're not really expecting much, but sort of, you know, halfway filled margaritas and a little relaxation. And, and they go to explore this sort of off the beaten path uh, Mayan ruin. And Well, why would you do that if you were wanting that quiet... Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I wasn't yeah. for it. My character wanted to stay behind. I was right. sort of the whiny one that just right. wanted to lounge by the pool. Well, that, that one always gets killed. Well... <laughs> first. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was hoping for an early offing, but it didn't happen. No. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember that movie that it was uh, set in the woods? Uh, there was, uh, it was uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins and uh, Alec Baldwin and another actor I'd never heard of and a bear was loose in the woods and the actor I'd never heard of, I was like, you're a big trouble, buddy. Because <laughs> we got Alec Baldwin and Sir Anthony Hopkins and a bear. You know oh, what's yeah. coming. It was like Grizzly Bear. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, oh, that might have been just Alec Baldwin. I don't know. You can't tell. <laughs> We have to we have to take a, a, a break. Will you hang around and, and talk some more? All right, we'll be right back. We'll be right back with Jenna Malone, everybody.
just talking before, we're talking in the break about your, your, your music stuff that you've been doing as well. Yeah. The, uh, now, what, you play the accordion, right? That's what you told I, me. No, I've, learn, I've been learning the accordion. It's not part of the rig. I sort of, I sort of built, like, I wanted to just to be able to do like a one-woman thing where it's like a traveling circus kind of meets performance art, meets like 1940s musical review, you know. God, I love and, you. <laughs> So, I, you know those old steamer trunks, like in Joe versus the Volcano, where they have, they're really tall, and one side is all of, like, a, a built-in wardrobe, and then one is drawer? Yes, yes, like in Marx Brothers movies yeah, or really something. Tall, yeah, they're really tall, like, yeah, basically yeah. goes up like, to, like, oh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so, I... <laughs> Like a, like a guitar and an amp and a mixer and a mic and a drum machine and I, I work on a little micro korg and, and it's just, it's really... It sounds like a travelling musical cubicle. <laughs> it kind of is, without the sort of crazy cubicle work environment. So what you're saying styrofoam. is that it's like what you said but without the bit I said. <laughs> Cubicles probably when, like in the 1940s, they were built out of wood. And yes, exactly. They had like yes. strange sawdust on the floor, and does, it wasn't. Does that help the music that they're made out of wood? Bar? Well, sometimes How it can helps. You move it around. Love. You're quite small. This must be quite heavy. I have to have a dolly. I have a dolly that wheels it around. And by dolly, I mean. I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. It's my job to be lame, though. I have to do. <laughs> But sometimes I have to go and like pick, you know, like have some guys help me, you know, like set ah, up the show. Yes. How many of these guys? Help you? <laughs> Just like one or two, you know. Sometimes right. like my friends gardeners have helped us a few times. Your friends so. gardeners, yeah. how delightful. I know it was really yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, this film again because we were kind of trashing it a little bit, but it's quite a scary, scary, real like Cronenbergy horror yeah, film. Yeah, right? I feel like I mean, as much as you can, I mean, the, the way anytime there's a horror movie, I mean, you always think like half half naked women, you know. Sweaty and sort of like, you know, chainsaws. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. But for me, what I love about horror is like what Lynch does for horror and like what Cronenberg does for horror, like the brood. You know, it's all like, there's no real bad, evil person. It's basically like human nature, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like the dark side of us all that sort of comes out in oppressive environments that brings it out, you know? Much like CBS, for example. <laughs> conditioned in here it's pretty nice yeah that, that, that's just a draft <laughs> there's no air conditioner in here it's just open plan there's like monkeys with a yeah, fan yeah. So a lot of the, do you know you can't do that with monkeys anymore <laughs> really? yeah, it used to be how we killed the studio they monkeys already? with fans yeah now oh. the monkey lobby went nuts <laughs> <laughs> i know that is so lame do you go and see do you go and see horror movies to go and do that? I do. I do. I sometimes like to take my little sister, even though she's what? not really allowed to see. What age is she? She's 10. Oh, no. And, and sometimes, I mean, even like when I took her to like Lord of the Rings, she was like, you know. You took a 10-year-old child to Lord of the Rings? This is inappropriate. Yes. She, she was telling me. She's like, that, that was, I'm going to get nightmares because of that. But then I go and like treat her to ice cream after, and I feel like we bond somehow. <laughs> Ever so slightly evil, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm all about sort of letting the children experience what they want, you know, and in, right. in, in however way they can. I think it helps them. You know? uh, do you plan on having children yourself anytime soon? <sighs> Probably, you know, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I've halfway raised my little sister just because I'm, you know, always there. I named her, I cut her umbilical cord. Did I was there when she was born. What age were you? I was 13. Okay, yeah, I guess. That, so, yeah, it was, oh. It was oh. intense. It was yeah, really it's because I, I cut my son's umbilical cord. Really? Yeah, I nearly fainted. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I mean, no idea. The texture of it when you're yeah, cutting. Yeah, yeah, it's like, like, it's not something then, you really should cut. You're responsible if they have an innie or an Audi. And I, my little sister has both. And she blames it on me. Wait, 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 how can you have both? Well, I mean, it's really cute. And I know she's going to watch this, so it's super cute. She's going to watch this? <laughs> worse than Lord of the Rings. That's true. She's going to be like two eyes. Yeah. Oh. Um, but it's like, you know, it's like in, then it has a little bit of something inside. Oh, well, everybody has that. Yeah. That's the, that's the, they call that the false out. <laughs> really? Is that the technical term? That's right. That's what they call it in my medical degree. <laughs> no, I see you have a false out there. But is that, is that, for, you know, is that an American term? Because I know you've recently been naturalized. I, I am now an American, yeah. yeah. How does it feel? I mean, you know, it's fantastic. I, I've noticed a great more, uh, a lot more freedom of uh, speech. And, uh, <laughs> and jury duty can only be days away. So, <laughs> I don't know. have you ever done that, jury duty? I've had so many envelopes sent to me and I've never been there. And I feel like I'm probably the most irresponsible Well, when they send you an envelope, if Ed McMahon's on the envelope, that's not jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> 
Or maybe it is. Congratulations, you already have become a juror. <laughs> Somehow he's up in Lake Tahoe, sort of dueling out do you jury still jury. Live in Lake Tahoe? I do. Good for I you. Do. You haven't moved here and gotten yourself pierced and tattooed and walking around clubs <laughs> with no underpants on? Not yet. I, I'm going to save that for my 30s. Yeah, yeah. Sort of oh, a nice, yeah, nice yeah, transition. Yeah. You, know? you know, I have to say, by the time you get to, you know, as you get a bit older, and I speak from some experience here, that's the time you want to start putting your underpants on. <laughs> speaking about? Well, let's just say I had a very big 80s. I don't even want to know. I, I, don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but, it, but in some way it's suggestive and I'm kind of enjoying that in a creepy older man way. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it works out. It's always a delight to see you. Yes. You, look, you don't have to make another film until you come back. You can come back anytime you like. Okay. Right? I mean, so, I could just sort of hang out in the back. Like, you sure, you could. I mean, it's a very nice house. view. We could put down a little fold-down bed for you. <laughs> and if you need anything fixed up, I really like to try to be handy, you know, so. Yeah, I, I need a couple of things fixed <laughs> All right, all right. Damn hello, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> See, that proves it's today. <laughs> Please welcome Jenna Malone, everybody. Jenna Malone. Get away, get away. Hello. Hello, how lovely to see you. Very nice to see you as well. Look at your rattlesnake. Yeah, it's right here. It's very nice. There you go. I, may I say? Do I get one? Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a cup there. But you get a regular cup. <laughs> Do you want a rattlesnake cup? Do no, we have okay. a rattlesnake cup? Go ahead, see, we'll see if we can fetch you one. Have you done something to your hair? Uh, well, no. What are you talking about? Well, the last time you were here, it was dark. I know. I think, yeah, it was a dark bob. A dark I, bob. I know a guy called Dark Bob. <laughs> it's kind of a superhero name, right? Dark Bob. Yeah, it's yeah. like, no, it's like the villain in a superhero movie, Dark Bob. Oh, or the no. misunderstood superhero, you know? What, like he speaks French? <laughs> Or he's got too long of a mustache or something. Dark Bob? Yeah. And he uses his long mustache powers to... <laughs> to I fend off the evils in the world. <laughs> no, no, he's a bad guy. Dark Bob's a bad guy. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Where have you been? I haven't seen you for years. Uh, I've been up in Vancouver for what? a long time. Canada? Yeah. Canada. Woo! There's Canadians here. I heard. I heard yeah, a yeah. hockey game. But you're not Canadian, are you? I'm not. No. I'm not. You got your socks on, though. Like I, I get. do. Joe, can you bring it over? Thanks very much. You, there you are. There's a rattlesnake cup wow. there. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a... <laughs> Thank you, Joe. And the rattlesnake's inside. There's, is wow. there a rattlesnake inside? Inside. Oh wow! Look, the rattlesnake. Oh, it's like in there. Look, like That's a. It's kind of terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead then. Let's see you drink out All of that right. one. Well. Yeah. You now can join. <laughs> uh, what were you doing in Vancouver? Uh, I'm working on a, a, a really crazy film up there called Sucker Punch. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Zack Snyder's new film. Right. I, I see all his films. <laughs> <laughs> he did 300, which is crazy. 300! My Watchmen. friend Jerry's in 300. Oh, with, right. with, yeah, they painted his abs on. I've known Jerry for a long time. <laughs> wow. I've known Jerry for a long time. He does not do sit ups. I know Jerry I Butler. Know. I know I don't know. I don't know. Because I have the same trainers as they did on that film. And right. they said that they had to paint them for a little bit more of effect. But they, they trained hardcore for that film. Well, have you been training hardcore? I have. I have. Have you got six pack abs? <laughs> Well, no, I mean, not, you know, crazy. Do they, I, do they paint them on you? <laughs> what do you do in the film, then? Uh, it's that the, you need to train for? Are you a superhero? Are you the Dark Bob character? No, there's a, <laughs> I'm more of a Light Bob character, actually. Right. Tense well, you Light Bob, yes, I see, yeah. Um, no, it was, uh, you know, obviously Zack Snyder, there's a lot of crazy fight scenes, right. sequences. Uh, it's all girls, and it's... All girls uh, fighting in blonde hair? <laughs> Mr. Snyder, you have my vote, sir. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. It's been crazy, though, because we've been training with these ex-Navy SEALs, and, 
you know, it's really, really intensive weight training, strength training every day, you know, uh, two, you know, when we first were doing it for three months before we even started filming, it was like six to eight hours a day. Of... I'm glad I'm not an actor anymore. That's it's awful. Well, it was amazing, though. You're doing martial arts, weapon training, strength training, and then also, you know, they're monitoring your physical nutrition. So it's very much like, you know, uh, joining the Army or the Navy SEALs or something. So it, in a strange no, probably not way... As dangerous. Uh, in the oh. end. You may get a bad review, but, you know... Uh... Yeah, it's pretty dangerous. I right. can definitely, you know, hurt some people. Well, and of course, <laughs> then, then there's... Oh, do you, are you trained now? Could you kill me using one hand, that kind of thing? One hand? Well, yeah. if I could use a leg, I think I could do it. Whose leg? My, my leg! Oh, I see. <laughs> you wouldn't, like, bring a leg in that had, like, explosives in it or anything? No, no, no. You, you can kill me using one hand and one leg? Well, I, I could kill you using one hand, because there's that... Well, if you had a gun. Well, no, the, the sleeper hold, which, which cuts off all of the circulation and, and airflow to your head, and you'd be... Yeah, you'd but be your out. hand's too little to get around my fat neck. <laughs> Look at my neck, it's fat. I'm going to get one of them <laughs> neck slimmers. You know one of them? Really? Go on, then. Just do it a little bit. Don't actually kill me, but wait, wait, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's just set some rules with the safety. We need a safety word. Okay. Banana. That's my safety word okay. I always use. No, I... <laughs> it's good to know. It's right, to all right. Know. So the safety word is banana. When I say banana, you have to stop, right? I'm just going to measure my hand around your neck. We have to all. wait. We have to wait. <laughs> all right, go. Right, measure your hand. And if I say banana, you have to stop. Go. What if you say banana split? Will there be a... <laughs> I won't have time to say split because you'll have stopped when I said banana. It's true. It's a trick question. Right, OK. Banana. See? <laughs> You didn't even I stop. Didn't, I didn't even have it around your neck. All right, go, go. Oh, well. All right, go, no, I'm go. I'm terrified now. No. See, you're not much of a trained assassin if you're scared. <laughs> come on. It's true, it's true. No, it's my on. off days. You know, every assassin has to have one. Are you an assassin in the movie? No, no, no. All right, just... okay. Are you an assassin at other times? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, all right. All right. <laughs> it's nice to see you. You too. Yeah. I don't... What do you think about the blonde hair? I, quite, I, I wasn't sure at first, but I actually like it now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not too bad. I no, mean, it's it, nice. It makes you look sprighty. <laughs> I mean, and I don't mean the soft drink. I mean, you know, like a... <laughs> kind of light and effervescent? Yes, well, it does a little bit. <laughs> Do men hit on you more with the, because you've got your hair's blonde? Uh, not that I've noticed. Well, they were hitting on you a lot when your hair was dark, <laughs> so you're fine. Yeah, well, I mean, I've been uh, around the film crew for so long that I think they're all a little intimidated of us because well, of all because, of our... Well, yeah, because of the neck weapons thing. and things, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, mm. The Messenger is coming out next Friday. Well, we, oh, the film? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's coming out next Friday, you say? <clears throat> And is it's a really beautiful it good? film. I love it so much. Woody Harrelson, Ben Foster, Samantha Morton, Steve Buscemi. Oh, they're all very, very good. It's gorgeous. Going back to sort of the old, um, like Hal Ashby. Do you like Hal Ashby? Yes, yeah, being there. Totally. Yes, totally. that's a great movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Well, there you go. Then you should see this film. I'll see it. It's, it's called it's... The Messenger. It's out next week, actually. <laughs> Sometime. <laughs> Get him alone, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Jeff's vet! Jeff's got a Twitter account! What's your Twitter name, Jeff? Well, you can tweet me at Jeff the Robot. And has anyone tweeted you recently and upset you? <laughs> <laughs> he was all angry about it before the show. He was all like, that's <laughs> the man! And, uh, he was like, I am so angry! And his eyes went all blue and he was like, that, who the <laughs> do they think they are? <laughs> Right? Yeah, that's about the short of it. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what was the tweet you got that so upset you? Well, this one gentleman sent me a tweet that said, Careful, Icarus. <laughs> well, why does that upset you then? Is that, is that your name? No, it's actually a reference to a Greek mythological story. <laughs> that. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> that. Can't swear. You're I... not a rabbit. <laughs> Silly robot. Swears are for rabbits. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs>